Hey guys, Potato here, and in today's video, I want to be showing you guys the best enchantments for every tool, piece of armor, and weapon in Minecraft. And this should be a very fun video. If you do enjoy this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Please don't forget, it helps me out a lot. And yeah, let's get into the video. So first we have our helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. Now, the enchantments I suggest are the ones i'm showing you right now but if you can't get these and you're not good at enchanting for some reason just try and get protection on breaking and mending that's the minimum you need as you go on in minecraft you can upgrade these even more to what i have now it's pretty much your choice this is what the best enchantments are anyway next we have our swords and weapons so first we have the sword so what i would suggest for this is sharpness 5 looting 3 unbreaking 3 and mending and you guys might be thinking potato where is knockback and fire aspect well let me explain they're not always the best because let's say you are fighting a skeleton for example and you have knockback on your sword if you hit it once let's pretend uh, this sheep over here is a skeleton let's say i have knockback i hit it i knock it back further and it keeps shooting me with arrows and yeah you don't really want that it's pretty much a pain and for fire aspect it's good for getting cooked food and all that when you kill animals but for endermen it just makes them whiz all around and it's also pretty crazy and annoying to deal with when you're fighting an enderman so next we have the pickaxes axes and shovels and there are actually fortune 3 variants and silk touch variants for all three of these tools and i will explain all of that in a bit so yeah um yeah fortune 3 and silk touch are the main changes for the two different types of pickaxes axes and shovels otherwise they are all pretty much the same and i will explain them to you right about now so on all of these of course you're going to want on breaking three and mending that's just how it goes you want that on pretty much everything to be honest so for the your pickaxes you want efficiency five on breaking three and mending on each of them except on one you want fortune three if you're gathering and fortuning ores like diamonds for example or if you want raw materials or you don't want really want to fortune anything yet you can get a silk touch pickaxe for axes um just put smite five on breaking three efficiency five and mending on each axe and that's also good because you can use it as a weapon and as a tool but on one of them put fortune three because if you fortune leaves you can get more saplings and apples from trees and silk touch it doesn't really matter you don't really need to put silk touch on it you can just leave it the way it is without fortune because it will just give you wood and pretty much nothing else of that sort now for shovels all you really want is efficiency five unbreaking three and mending on one of them you want fortune because let's say you're mining for flint i don't know why you need it but some people do need it you're mining gravel and if you have fortune three you'd get it all the time silk touch just for raw materials like grass blocks nothing really special now on to hoes as of 1.16 you can now enchant hoes which is actually really really cool and I was just putting on breaking, mending, and efficiency 5 because Silk Touch and Fortune don't really matter on hose since you can only break nether wart blocks and shroom lights which drop regardless whether you have Fortune or Silk Touch on your hoe. So I would say just leave it like this. Now for the bow. What I would suggest putting on this is Flame 1, on Breaking 3, Power 5, Punch 2, and Infinity 1. And now you might be thinking, Potato, where's Mending? See, if you put Mending on a bow with Infinity, you will get Mending only or Infinity only. It's your choice. But I think Infinity, personally, is better because you already have Unbreaking, so your bow won't break for a while. And plus, some people don't realize how amazing Infinite Arrows actually are are the rest of the enchantments self-explanatory i don't really think i need to explain them but uh yeah this is just a really powerful bow in general now for the crossbows there are two types you can get you can get one with multi-shot and one with piercing four i will explain both of these right now 
So on each of them, you will need Unbreaking 3, Quick Charge 3, and Mending. But on one of them, you will need Multi-Shot, and the other one, you will need Piercing 4. Multi-Shot, self-explanatory. You charge up your bow, you shoot it, you get 3 arrows instead of 1. Piercing 4, though... It's a little annoying to showcase what it does, so I will just explain. Basically, when you shoot an arrow, it will pierce through five mobs at once if they are in a line. And it is pretty cool because you can use it for the achievements, but not much else. So I'd say go with multi-shot if you're going to use a crossbow. Next is the elytra and the turtle shell. Now, on your elytra... Uh, only thing you can really put is Unbreaking 3 and Mending, but that's pretty much okay because your Elytra will last for a long time if you use that. As for the Turtle Shell, Unbreaking and Mending as always, but Aqua Affinity as well. Because as you can see, when you wear a Turtle Shell, you will get Water Breathing, but I'm not 100% sure actually. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments, but I'm not sure if you can mine well underwater if you're wearing a Turtle Shell. Next up is the Fishing Rods. And by fishing rods, I mean the ones that you can actually fish with and the ones that you could use for pigs and striders. So let's get into the ones we can actually fish with because I think that would be better. So we have Luck of the Sea 3, Lure 3, and both of them. I will explain this right now. So if you're looking for treasure, use this one. Luck of the Sea 3, Unbreaking 3, and Mending 1. If you're looking for mostly fish, use this one. Just replace Luck of the Sea with Lure. If you want a balanced amount of both of them, use this fishing rod. I use it a lot as well when I fish. It is a pretty good one to use and I recommend it. Now for the carrot on a stick and the warped fungus on a stick. Carrot on a sticks are for pigs and warped fungus on a stick is for striders. And the only thing you can really put is unbreaking and mending. I mean, let's face it, that's you can pretty much put that on anything. And you might be asking yourself, why would I need this? Well, maybe let's say you're doing a pig race or a strider race with your friends and you want these to last a while. Well, just put the enchantments on it. It's as simple as that. Um, I don't think it really matters though. Now for the tridents, you have channeling and riptide three. I will explain these now. So the one with channeling will be our main one with the impaling five which is just more damage against sea monsters, loyalty 3 to come back to you, and the channeling for the lightning strikes, and obviously unbreaking 3 and mending. And now for the Riptide. For this one, all you would really need is Riptide 3, unbreaking 3 and mending, because when you throw your trident, in, and if it has Riptide, it won't go out of your hand, and it'll just stay there with you automatically. And that's pretty much fine. Now for the last three, we have Shields, shears and flint and steel and what are the enchantments for these you guessed it unbreaking three and mending and the reason you'd need these are pretty self-explanatory but i'll do it anyway shields let's say you're fighting a bunch of mobs put unbreaking and mending on your shield so it will take a longer while to break shears let's say maybe you have a sheep farm and you don't want your shears to run out, I guess you can use them for that. Or shearing leaves and stuff like that too. I'm not really sure. It's pretty much up to you. And now for the flint and steel. I don't know why you'd carry it around with you, but it's fine. You just use unbreaking three and mending. You can It lasts for a long time when you use these because normally it actually doesn't last for very long. So that is actually pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.